We've seen how to use OpenTelemetry to instrument our services for both distributed tracing and custom metrics. But what do we do when tracing shows us that there's a latency issue in a specific service? That information is often in logs. So today, we'll go over how to bring logs and traces together into a single view using OpenTelemetry and Cloud Trace and Logging. This is The Stack Doctor. Let's take a look at an example app written in Go. It receives a user request, does some internal processing, then makes a backend query before returning a response. Using OpenTelemetry, we can create trace spans that will capture the timing of each of those actions. If the internal processing step takes a long time, we want to use logs written by our app to diagnose further. The good news is that it's possible to automatically create associations between traces and logs. You just have to write the ID of the trace and span into the payload of your log entries. And Cloud Trace and Logging will do the rest. But where do you get those? Well, first, let's review some basics about how distributed tracing works in OpenTelemetry. You can refer to the official documentation for more detail. We'll link to that below. A trace is essentially the sum total of information we want to collect about the user request as it traverses our distributed system. A span is information about the request and response of one of the services in our system. Spans include spam context. This is the information that must be propagated with every request that allows the tracing library to reconstruct the entire trace when all requests are completed. Finally, Go provides its own context for requests in distributed systems that contain information about request propagation. We'll use all of this information to identify our traces and spans and connect them to log entries. Now, let's dive into our code. This is the function we'll use to write our log entries. There are two main parts here. In the first part, we extract the information we need about the trace and the span from the context. Note that there are two steps here. We get the span from the request context, then extract its span context, and finally use that to get the trace ID and span ID. In the second part, we use that information to construct our log entry. We write the log payload and add the trace and span ID information to it. Here's what our log entry looks like when it's written to cloud logging. Notice that it contains information about the trace and span ID. Finally, when we go to trace, we can see that our trace now includes log entries. We can use them to better understand exactly what's happening if one of the spans in the trace shows a latency issue. Using OpenTelemetry to connect traces with logs is a great way to improve the observability of our service and make latency issues much easier to debug. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and come back soon for more. This is the Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there.